When the couple appeared on the lawns of Buckingham Palace just before lunch, the long months of rumour, speculation and denial were over. The Easter engagement was now public knowledge. A single sapphire flanked by two diamonds was on the princess's hand. They said they'd chosen it together a month ago, but didn't say where. What is the actual protocol when you decide to get married, ma'am? Whose permission do you have to ask? Well, we started with father, didn't we? <laughs> we thought that was the right way around to do it. We started with Mr. Phillips' father. Well, we started then because at, um, we started, in fact, with the families. But you asked my father. Uh, how was that interview? Well, <laughs> it was, um, you very kind to me, actually. I was petrified beforehand. Have you discussed a family or do you have any thoughts about having a family? Just yet? Oh no, it's much too early to think about things like that. Then Lieutenant Phillips' parents came out onto the lawn to pose for photographs. And as in all royal family photographs, there were the inevitable dogs, this time the engaged couple's Labrador. Major and Mrs. Peter Phillips stayed for lunch at the invitation of their son's future in law. Then the Queen and the Duke returned to the palace for an early dinner with the Princess and her fiancé, who's now left for Germany. <laughs>